seven skills you need to have a successful online coaching business. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven skills that you need for your online business to launch and scale. For you to be profitable and leave your nine to five to have time freedom and financial freedom, you need the right skills to get this off the ground. I'm gonna share with you seven skills that you should develop and the seventh I found to be the most important of all the skills and most people skip this one and it could make or break your business. Skill stacking is what leads to success in any business and in life. And I learned this the hard way. I've even tried to launch an online business in the past and I had a very few amount of skills. I knew about speaking and selling, but I was missing key components, key skills like marketing, like funnels, developing a brand, crafting my offer and discovering my niche. These are all skills that you need to be successful in the online business space. And today, I wanna to teach you all about them. Let me start by saying what Jim Rohn once said, one of the most influential personal development coaches in the planet, he said this one time, you must either modify your dreams or magnify your skills. Well, guess what? I think you should not modify your dreams. I think you should develop your skills instead. So listen, Every skill that I'm gonna share about can be developed. We are not good at most things when we first get started. We might like certain things, we might even have a bent towards certain things, but it doesn't mean that we can't be good at things. And here's the thing, if we give ourselves a chance, the truth is that when it comes to skills, you can learn them. If you let yourself be bad long enough over time, you will be good. Business skills is no different. Too many people focus on the output when they should focus on the input. So I'm gonna show you the seven skills that you need for your online coaching business. Let's get started. The most important and foundational skill that you need in order to get started is this one. The number one, communication. It is one of the most important things that you could have the most important skills that you could have, it's really the base for all businesses. I see people who are good at one-on-one, -on -one. they feel very comfortable talking privately, but when it comes to one-to-many or a group setting that's one-to-many, they are completely shell-shocked. They're gripped with fear. Even when it comes to one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, just talking to someone, learning the skill of talking to someone, and when I mean communication, Communication is more about listening well more than speaking well, but it also is all about speaking well as well. So communication is foundational for your success. This will help you in marketing, making content on social media, even courses. This will help you in sales, closing deals, and no matter what business you're in, this is gonna help your life. This will help you communicate to team members so you're either confronting them or you're inspiring them, and that should be constant in your business. Listen, Warren Buffett once said, you can improve your value by 50% just by learning communication skills. So now let's go on to the next skill. The next skill that I found so important is called storytelling. Storytelling, all right? Now this is connected to communication but I think it's a skill that is very underrated. It's storytelling is all about bringing to life something that happened in the past. And it affects marketing, it affects sales, and you can be so captivating as a speaker and as a presenter after you've learned the techniques of storytelling. Now, most people don't see this as a skill at all. They don't even use it for business for some reason, but it most definitely is one of the most important skills that you need. Steve Jobs told stories when he was marketing and launching his products, all right? Jesus, Jesus Christ, the greatest communicator of all time, he spoke in parables, he told stories. Our lives are stories, we live in stories. We love to watch movies, they're stories. We love to listen to songs, those are stories. If you want to market, sell, and communicate, you need to hone this skill in very, very well. In fact, a funnel in marketing is a story that you're telling your audience and you're connecting your audience through story. For example, the first thing that you need to do in marketing is get their attention, right? 
You gotta get their attention when you're in marketing. But after you get their attention, you need to communicate and you need to tell them stories. All right, so storytelling is key to developing in our skills. Now let's go on to the next uh, skill that we need to develop. The number three that we need is marketing skills. Marketing skills. Now this is all about getting attention. This is about uh, uh, getting their attention long enough for them to pay attention to your offer. Marketing is a skill of getting their attention, but it's also keeping them long enough for them to look at your product, for what you have to offer, for them to consider your product. This skill is vital to taking suspects to become prospects and turn them into clients. Marketing has so many facets to it. And of course, it includes, you know, getting your niche and your target audience. But regardless of what you're selling, if you can't market, you can't sell. I think that marketing is one of the most, I think it's the number one skill that you need to develop for your online business because that's the beginning point. That's where traffic is coming from. If you can't market, you won't be able to sell. You could have an amazing product on the other side. You could bring people great results, but if they don't know that you exist, you can't sell it. So marketing is the vehicle in which to take your offer to serve people. And if you're online, you need to learn how to get people's attention. All right, so let's go on to the next skill. The next skill is all about copy writing. Copy writing is so minimized in the world today and it's one of the most important. You know, this is bringing to life your stories. This is about marketing. This is about selling, but you're doing it through copy. Your copy is crucial for closing sales. It's all about messaging to the right target audience, speaking their language through their pain points and uncovering the value of your offer, but you're doing it on paper. So obviously this is crucial, so important. Copy is used for funnels, it's used for ads, it's used for email list, and so much more, okay? The better you learn to write copy, guess what else it does? It makes you a better speaker so that you become actually an amazing presenter speaking to the right audience with the right solution and actually bridging everything together. And you do that through copy, but if you can learn that skill, you can be a great presenter, a great communicator. So this is all about stacking your skills. They are all interconnected. But a lot of people struggle here because they think that they will just, you know, talk about their offer. They're just gonna put the benefits of what they have. And they really think that that's gonna sell something, but it doesn't, it helps but it's the lowest reason why someone buys. So getting good at copy, speaking to your ideal dream client is crucial for your success. Okay, so now let's go on to the next skill that you need. The next skill that you need is sales. Almost a bad word, all right? So the next skill sales has been given a bad rap for a very long time. And we've all probably have had a bad experience in sales. Someone did something that gave us a bad taste in our mouth so therefore, we don't wanna be salesy. But let me share some facts about sales. Sales is all about solving people's problems. Sales is all about uncovering the value of your offer. Sales is understanding and learning where someone is at, and it's really about listening to their pain really well. Sales is all about helping people overcome their objections, their objections, and their limiting beliefs. Sales, the bottom line, is serving. Everything around us, if you think about it, everything around us has sales in it. When you buy your car, your clothes, your iPhone, it's all sales. It makes the world go around. This is the gift that we give to people. It will also help you in business. Let me share a Bible verse with you. Proverbs 11:26 says, he who withholds grain that people will curse it. But blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. So sales is a gift we give to people. So the punchline is it's a gift and it brings blessing. It brings blessing to you. Not only do you get paid for it, but it also serves people, all right? So we gotta change our perspective on, on sales and then develop that skill over time. The next skill that I wanna talk to you about is product innovation. Product innovation. What is that? What does that mean? It's all about your offer, okay? This is all about developing your offer for people to buy. You know, what are you gonna help people in? An offer is the opportunity 
that you give a potential client to exercise their desire to buy or to get the thing that you help them realize that they've desired all along at the price that they've agreed to, which they now expect to use and to change their life, all right? Now that's an offer and you have to become good at developing. What is my ideal dream client need? What is their pain point? How can I serve them? What kind of results? What kind of wins can I bring them? And you package it together and you can do that through a course, a coaching program, an ebook, and many other things like it. And so you need to learn, you know, how to actually create proximity, but also the value in those courses and put a, an amazing irresistible offer at the right price that serves you, meaning you get paid for, for that offer, but also that serves them with great results, the transformation that they're looking for. And you wanna over deliver. So learning that offer is critical. Now let me go on to the last one. Now the last skill that most people would not view as a skill, but I'll, I found that is vital for us to have and grow in, especially in the online space is adaptability. Adaptability. Now, is, it, is that even a skill? Yes, adaptability is a skill that you have to de develop. Now, I heard this a long time ago. The method in which you do something is not sacred. The messages, so how you serve people with your message is sacred, meaning your offer is amazing. It's, it's gonna bring people results, but the method in which you do that can change and should change. So the vehicle that you use, the marketing strategy, the, the things that you employ, that all should be, you should be able to adapt and be flexible. Don't get stuck. Here's the point. Don't get stuck on one vehicle. You know, I figured out webinars or I figured out challenges or I figured out this funnel or I figured out this system. But guess what? Maybe people are not interested in your system. Maybe they're not getting, you're not getting their attention on social media. Maybe your ads are not working. Maybe your copy isn't working. Okay, maybe your messaging isn't working. So you adapt to work. You adapt to change it. You adapt until it actually brings fruit and success, right? So you actually have to sign, the, sign up. In the front end, I'm gonna be adaptable. I'm here to learn, I'm gonna be a sponge, but also I wanna be flexible in changing my methods, all right? Another part of being adaptable, which I found very crucial, is that you can't take things personal. You're gonna get rejected especially in this, in this online space. So you have to allow to flow, to allow the, the stuff that comes to you to flow out right off your back. All right, like you're gonna get punched in the face. Boom, it's okay, go with it, you know, it's all right. And you're gonna, maybe people are gonna buy your offer and then they're like gonna ask for a chargeback. All right, it's okay. Maybe they comment bad on social media. Like people get their underwear in a knot for people who said bad things on, on comments. Like. Who cares? Don't take it personal. It's no big deal. In fact, bad bad recognition or bad comments is actually good traffic. You know, keep it coming. It's all right. It's no big deal. All right. So you got to learn to go with it. It doesn't it doesn't make up that big of a deal at the end result. Okay. So you have to become adaptable. These skills will definitely serve you well in the online space. But one more thing that you that I want to talk to you about, Malcolm Gladwell. In his book, Outliers, he described a rule about skills. He said, it takes 10,000 hours for intensive practice to achieve mastery of complex skills and materials like playing the violin or getting good as Bill Gates. I see what he's saying there, okay? So the goal of learning something is not just to know about it. If you listen to a course or you attend a coaching program, you may have heard something, but it may not be something that you really took in or that you can repeat or that you can teach someone. You definitely didn't master it. Mastery only comes from repetition. When you do that behavior over and over and over again, then you mastered it. You gotta put in the reps. Like the way Bruce Lee once said, he said, I fear not the man that has a lot of kicks. I fear the man that has one kick and has kicked a thousand times. He did it over and over and over again. So take these skills, communication, storytelling, marketing, copywriting, product innovation, sales, 
and being adaptable and develop them and stack them in your life. This will help you become uber successful, if that's even a word. With that being said, do me a favor, subscribe and like and share it with your friends. I would love to hear from you as well. What skill would you like me to dive deeper in? What are you interested in learning that I can help you with? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon.